Hello and welcome to this new video for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera and today I'm going to be reviewing a book called Buccaneers and Pirates. It was written by Frank R. Stock and published in 1898. And this will be a spoiler-free video so you can sit back and enjoy. I had never heard of this book up until the moment I bought it in January 2020. I was actually on this cruise in the Caribbean and when we stayed in Puerto Rico, for a friend and I decided to go on this tour of the Castillo de San Cristobal because I love history, so I wanted to see it. And we went into the gift shop and I instantly moved towards the book stand. And I must pause here to mention that ever since I was a kid, I've loved, loved, loved parts of the Caribbean. And just before I went on this holiday, I actually saw the movies over and over again every single night for like a month to sort of prepare me that I was actually going to go to that place so I was going with pirates in my mind so when I was in the gift shop I saw these three different pirate books and I wanted to buy them all but I already bought a lot of books so in the end I just decided to buy one and I chose this one because the lady behind the counter told me it was the best in this book we get a lot of information regarding pirates and buccaneers and it makes for some very interesting reading. We learn their origins and who are some of the most famous pirates in history, from Blackbeard and Mary Reed to Anne Boney and many many more. But this book is sort of meant for children and since it was written in the late 19th century, its treatment on the subject is quite mild, painting pirates at times as these mythical adventurers to look up to, even as it reminds the reader that in the end they got justly punished. I have to say that I give Buccaneers and Pirates a 3.5 out of 5 stars review because I thought I was going to enjoy it more than I actually did. The old fashioned style didn't really bother me because I love classics, but I think that I would have preferred to read a story about a famous pirate than this overall look sort of meant for children. Still, since I love Pirates of the Caribbean so much, I probably wouldn't want to read something that's not taking place inside this fandom even if it's fiction. Still, I did learn about different pirates I'd never heard of before, and a lot of the history of different places in the Caribbean, so those things were nice. Anyways, for the moment I believe that this is all I have to say about Buccaneers and Pirates. Thank you so much for watching my review of it. Please let me know if you enjoyed it or not, as well as what are your own thoughts regarding this novel. In the description box below, you can find a link to the book's Goodreads page. And well, I'm Caro Herrera, the mental traveler, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, ladies. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!